Hey friends, it's Brielle. Welcome to Crafting with a Queen. On today's episode, we're going to be putting together a beautiful springtime floral crown using only Dollar Tree items. So, if you like drag queens and crafting, stick around. First things first, we're just going to go through a few items that we might need to make our crowns. Every white crafter's favorite tool, a glue gun. Ow! What the hell? A headband. Oh. Mm. Mm. An assortment of florals. Oh, she's cute. First things first, this headband simply will not do as is. So, we're going to rip that off and we're going to destroy it to some extent because we don't we don't need this cloth. So, we're just going to We're just going to uh, Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Okay. Okay. Ooh, there we go. We're getting it. Okay. There. So, we have our headband. Next, we're going to take and cut our florals off the stems. But bear in mind, you're going to want to keep the leaves. We don't throw anything away. We're Not only are we crafty queens, we're budget queens. We use everything. So these are the, the options. Look at those balls. Ooh, they didn't have any blue balls. So we settled for pink. But look at these leaves. Those are fun. They're shiny. So yeah, that should be fun. Oops. <laughs> the balls are flying everywhere. I can't do any activities where balls fly at my nose. If you get, if you know, you know. Okay, I love these flowers or these leaves. These are pretty. I'm gonna use all of those because they're shiny. Now this part we could probably throw away, but we might be able to use them for something. Who knows? Maybe so. So I'm going to lay all my things out. Oh, I dropped one. That's fine. And then I'm just going to look at some of these leaves. And we're going to take some of them off as well. Just to use this fluffer and filler. Now, bear in mind, I'm not going to use all of this today. Oh, wait, I do want some of these flowers. I forgot one flower. Look at these. These are cute. Little yellow ones. They're like those purple, but they're yellow, like my dress and my eyes. Ooh. Okay. And then, oh, I broke that one. I don't know my own strength. She's strong. She's strong. Okay. How did the kids destroy them? Oh, I like this baby's breath. That's cute. Mm. I don't know what the hell these are. We'll keep them. But literally, you just go through and tear everything off your stems. So now that we have everything destroyed, we're going to start hot gluing our items along the headband. And how I like to start is I like to usually put down a layer of flowers or a layer of leaves along the edge like that. And then build up from there. So one thing I like to do with my leaves before I start to glue them down is there's these plastic little things here. I just like to pull them off. That way, when I lay them on the headband, they lay nice and flat like that. So what we're going to do now first is just go ahead and glue these leaves along our headband. And I'm trying 
kind of trying to stagger them so there's no weird gaps. So I like this one's this way and then I turn this one a little bit just so they kind of go in together a little bit better. Now that we have the first layer of leaves done, what we can do now is just let this cool a little bit until all that glue sets up and hardens. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, now I'm just gonna kind of play with how I want this to look. Um, I'm really loving the yellow. So I might take and just lay these down along. It's really up to you and how you want it to look. But I might alternate the yellow and the pink. But you want to pick a front. And I mean, that's what I like to do. I'm sure you could make these double sided, maybe like do more yellows on one side, want more pinks on the other. So you have two different looks. But for me, I just like to um, build up one side and then I'll just wear it the one way. But it's really up to you and your imagination and what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these pink and yellow flowers down on the next layer. Be careful when you're using your hot glue gun. Holy sh**. So we got that layer of flowers done. Now something I like to do just to add a little bit more um, security to these so they don't come off when you're wearing them is I will go in and since hot glue is relatively cheap, I'll just go in and like cover the stem completely in a, a dollop of hot glue and then just let that cool and it'll kind of just secure it even more. All right and now that that's cooled off I'm just going to continue to build uh build my crown up. I think I'm going to put these roses in next and make it a little just keep building it up and making it taller. So that's what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to take these beautiful, like, glittered leaves and just pop them in randomly just to give some shine and life to some spots. So I'm just going to stick them in randomly, fill in some holes maybe. No one likes an empty hole, so make sure you fill them. I'm traumatized. Oh my God, that hurt. All right, so I'm really happy with the way it's turned out so far, but I wanna build it up a little bit more. And maybe add some purples. So maybe add some of these bigger flowers to the top. And all I want to get some height to the top. 
So I might add like a, one of these big yellow flowers here, here, and here, just to give us some more height. And then we'll go in with some of these picks afterwards to kind of finish it up. So let's do the big yellow flowers. So I got the yellow flowers on and I'm really, really loving the way this has turned out. It's nice and full. It's beautiful. So um, yeah, I'm just going to take some of the purple and just kind of stick it in where I think, stick it in there and glue it down. That's what we're doing next. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the balls and stick them where I see fit. So maybe here, and I'm just going to glue them in. Everyone loves balls and you can't have enough of them. So I'm just going to kind of like place them randomly like that and go through and secure them down with some hot glue. <sighs> There's hot glue strings. these picks in just to give it a little height in places so I might stick them in here and there the the baby's breaths and then these thingamajangs just stick them in just to give some height because you know what they say the higher the hair or in this place crown the closer to Jesus so let's do that do to really make this stand out and very spring is add a beautiful butterfly. So I'm going to pick one of these butterflies, I think the yellow one, to match my dress and makeup today. But I'm going to take that and I'm going to find the perfect place and just glue it right in. So that's what we're going to do next. A beautiful springtime floor crown fit for any queen. If you liked watching today, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Do you have an idea for a craft that you think I might like? Leave it down below in the comments and who knows, maybe your suggestion will be one of my next videos. I think that's it. That's good. Cut.